finally quit. Hey guys, it's Rebecca Oberstadt. So instead of doing a, posting a regular video today, I figured I would do a like kind of chit chat, get ready with me. And I don't know, I was just feeling like a wild hair and wanted to play with some makeup. I've been fighting with my computer most of the morning, trying to, I don't know, see if I could get some things to change and needless to say, the computer won. I have, um, I have a, <laughs> I guess you could say a problem, um, with something that I use inside my computer that is internal, that I, that's my video card. And I like to game on my computer, but with the new computer, even though it says it's a gaming, uh, computer, the video card isn't as fast or as good as my old card was and uh, what I tried to do was take the old card from my machine that blew up a few months ago even though the, the card is fine it's just the drivers and stuff for it are outdated so it didn't really want to like work with my machine and my display settings were really weird it was like taller than it was wider and it was like distorting everything that I saw and I just I didn't like the way I was like looking at it and stuff it was like bugging my eyes out bad so I ended up putting the old card <laughs> the card that came with the machine back in it so until I can afford a newer video card I am stuck with it so I've been doing that today just I don't know just doing random things I haven't really been productive. I've got way too many YouTube videos that I need to uh, work on. I've got two that are recorded that need to be edited. And somehow or another, when I scheduled, because my sleep schedule is a little off right now, when I scheduled the one the other day to go up, I thought it was supposed to, it was set for Friday. But if you like schedule something after a specific point at night or after like midnight, it automatically like puts it for like 24 hours later. So say it's, it's 10 or 11 o'clock at night and I'm scheduling a video to go up the next day. Um, so I have to be real careful and look because it doesn't schedule it for the next day. It puts it at the day after that. So I have to be real careful and pay attention to to what I'm doing which of course I didn't so there was no video Friday um, it went up on Saturday instead and the video that I had gotten ready for Saturday it's it's still there it's just I haven't done anything with it so I was like screw it um, and I I've got stuff in my editor right now that I've been working on I've just my get up and go kind of got up and left I just, I haven't really been in the mood to do much today. Um, I didn't go to bed in, like yesterday until about 4.30 in the afternoon. Woke up at 8 because dad was cooking chicken and the whole house smelled like chicken and the smell of it woke me up. So I snagged a piece of chicken right out of the oven and went back to my room with <laughs> eight, eight chicken, brushed my teeth and then went back to sleep, got up at like 3.30, almost four o'clock this morning. So needless to say, I'm trying to get back on a normal sleep schedule. Sometimes I have friends that want a game late at night. And so I say, okay. And then I kind of get in trouble like the next day or the day after, just because of the fact that I've stayed up all night gaming and my sleep schedule is now out of, out of like sync and it's all out of whack and whatnot. So I, um, I don't know. I've just, I've got to get back into the habit of going to bed at a normal time and not staying up till three and four and eight o'clock in the morning, um, playing games, video games with friends. So this past week I've been off my schedule. I've been going 
you know, I was doing really well there for a while. I was going to bed before midnight and not staying up like super late. And I was getting a lot of stuff done during the day and being a productive human being. But then I, I have friends that live in California and they're like, oh, well, you know, can you stay up a little later? Can you help with this or can you help with that? Or, hey, I'm, I'm going to be getting on in like 10 minutes. Do you, you know, can you, can you stay up and, you know, we'll, we'll play two or three games. And then next thing you know, two or three games ends up being like five or six games and it's 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning and you're like, oh crap, I, I, I really got to go to bed. I, I can't stay up this late. And they're like, oh, sorry, we kept, you know, kept you up late and that kind of thing. And it's just one of, one of those things. So I get out of whack by doing stuff like that. I really need to quit if I want to stay on a normal, a normal schedule. Not like it, you know, really matters, but you know, it, it makes it easier to like run the dishwasher and vacuum and that kind of stuff during the day because my dad does work and so I can't be running the vacuum at like two o'clock in the morning. So that's all stuff that has to be done during the day when he's not, you know, trying to sleep. And with a house full of as many cats as we've got, it makes more sense to vacuum during the day and more often than trying to, you know, do it every other day or every week. So that's just one of those things. I don't know. Today's just kind of been one of those funk days, one of those weird you don't really want to do anything. It's Sunday. You just kind of want to sit back and relax and whatnot. So I've had this for a while. This is the Milani Pure Passions palette and I really love it because it's got all these like berry tones in it. But I just recently picked up the Bold Obsessions one and this one has some really neat like this bluish gray color. This is like a beigey gray color as well so I wanted to try and I've got like a hair or something on my who knows in this house it could be a cat hair but it's like this shade here that I would use in my crease is actually a satin so um I don't know it's kind of interesting so I'm gonna mix the this shade here and this shade hi you can see me there I am um because I don't want as much warmth because I'm I want to try and use that that gray and that like bluish slate color so a while back I had commented on a video from refinery 29 about Marion County Jail and the Lowell prison system and for those of you that don't know and I, I don't know if I've touched on this in a video or not but um, I have been to Marion County Jail. The Really the only time I've ever been arrested in my life. Um, I was arrested in 2010 and I went to Marion County Jail and sat there for almost two full years before I was released. So I have a pretty good grasp on the county system and of course because it's a revolving door the uh, girls that would come from Lowell for, you know, new charges or previous charges or whatever, uh, they would come in and they would talk and I, you know, you make friends while you're in there. And there was a lot of girls that came through that ended up going to prison for their charges. And some of the people that, that I made friends with were going to prison for a very long time. Like one of them was going, well, two, two of them that I know of were going for 25 years. Now, one of them didn't make it past the first Christmas because she got sick and the prison wouldn't do anything for her and she ended up dying in prison. And so I still have all of her personal effects that she gave me before she went off to prison. And 
I have talked to her family, like her sister is on my Facebook page and that kind of stuff. And we have talked. Her son was supposed to give me an address so I could mail this stuff to him, but he finally just said, don't worry about it. He doesn't care. So I still have all of her legal documents and her prison papers and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of sad. Some of the, the stuff that went on while I was there, or some of the things that happened once I got out. And some of the people that I met while I was there, it just really kind of breaks your heart to see. Hi, magics. Um, it really just kind of breaks your heart to see the system and how people are treated in the system and what really, what really happens. The stuff that you don't see, the glorified stuff that you don't see. So I actually have some people that have asked me to do a video on Marion County uh, jail and the Lowell prison system and anything that I know about the prison systems here in Florida, period. Not to mention the fact that I have friends who are uh, not only uh, county corrections officers, people that are, what do you mean, how do I have 4K? What do you mean? Okay. Um, but I have friends that work federal as well as state and local. So that and I have people that I know personally that I've known for years that have also worked, you know, local, state and federal that are retired now. So they, they know the corrections officer side of it. I don't know. I, I think you could say that I have a good grasp on both sides of it from somebody that's been there and somebody that knows people that work there and knows people in the system. So I haven't really sat down and put my ideas on paper to do a video. And if I do, it would be like a whole series because it's more than, more than just an hour long video. It would be quite lengthy. So, um, I don't know. I, I have the idea to put something like that together for those that are interested. And I have had other people ask me to do it. So I'll probably end up doing that. I know this is like a shimmery shade, this like steel blue color right here. I think I'm going to try using that. And this is one of the BH Cosmetics brushes number 17, I'm like lightly tapping. I'm kind of afraid. I want to use this like on the outer edge and in the crease. Because I want to use that other, like, taupey gray color on the lid. This is actually kind of going on the lid more gray. So, anyways, I'm a little disappointed in the state of Florida right now with the lovely voter system that we have. And I don't really talk much about politics or get into that kind of stuff with people because, you know, everybody has their own beliefs. It's like religion. You know, people believe what they want to believe and they have their own things that they, that they do. But some of the stuff that I've seen going on with how polls are run and our new, our polling place is literally right down the road from where we live. Like I could walk there and be there in less than 10 minutes. And they did something new with our you know, when you go to check in to get your stuff to go vote, they actually took my driver's license this past time and like swiped it through a machine like a credit card and then had me sign a, an electronic board, which was new. I had never seen that. So this year for our, at least for our area, we had a different type of like voting process. Now, granted, we still fill out paper ballots and we walk over the machine and we, you know, run them through a machine and the machine it does the Scantron thing. So that was the same. But the way that, you know, when we signed up to get our actual. You can ask me questions, sure. But yeah, I just thought that was that was different. And now they're having all these like supposed like reelections for state senator and governor because ballots are popping up or ballots are missing or things like that. And that usually happens. I think Florida has like the worst track record for ballot tampering or missing ballots or found ballots, that kind of stuff. 
than any other state because you don't really hear about that happening in other states. You just hear about it happening here in Florida. I would consider eyebrows facial hair, yes, because it's hair that grows on your face. But then again, everybody has hair that grows. There's only a couple places on your body that you don't grow hair, like the palms of your hands, like your hands, the bottom of your feet. Um, everywhere else in your body grows hair. So since this is your face and this is hair, yes, I would say that that's technically facial hair. Why, what do you consider eyebrows? Are they not considered facial hair to you or? No reply. I'm being like so like timid with this color. I'm afraid to go too heavy handed and too dark or I can't like fix it. Well, I guess you could think about it that way, Pat. But, you know, I've got hair that grows like here. You can see it when I pull on it. And you've got like hair on your forehead. You've, you even have little hairs on your nose. You've got hair all over your face. So you figure this is your, your face, your facial skin. You've got hair that grows every, on every inch of your face. Um, I've even seen people when they come into the salon for an eyebrow wax that they get like hair that grows all the way down like onto their where their creases on their eyelid. So, you know, when I was in cosmetology school, I don't think that they differentiated hair on somebody's face uh, as non-facial hair for it being your eyebrow. So, I don't know. That would be that would be something interesting. I could I could you know put a poll up on Twitter and ask and be like, hey, are eyebrows considered facial hair? and see how many yeses and noes you get, or a maybe. That'd be it. That'd definitely be a conversation starter. Because then you get into the rest of the questions as to, okay, so if the stuff that grows on the sides of your face or on your cheeks or whatever is called peach fuzz, even though we're not a peach, um, is that also considered facial hair? Because if you limit it to just a beard or a mustache, then, you know, you, you're only limiting it to hair here. Exactly. But, you know, people that have hair that grows down here, which are sideburns, or that they have this peach fuzz here that is longer or darker, they, they consider hair um, from the bump in your ear up as part of your head hair. So any hair that grows to a specific point on your face is considered part of your scalp. But because this is neither your scalp nor your lip area, is it really considered facial hair? I'd say yes, because again, it's hair and it's on your face. Oh, and um, I don't know if anybody else got these, but I kept getting like emails in my inbox this week uh, telling me that the, um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's today, but with it being November 11th of the year 2018, for those that are like into like numerology, it is 11, 11, 11, and you're either going to have like a really good day or a really bad day. I've had one of those like funky days where it's neither good nor bad. It's just kind of, <laughs> Well, I'm not exactly happy with it, but it is what it is. I 
I just felt like playing with the palette. I've only done one look with it so far, but I've done swatches and I thought there were several colors in this eyeshadow palette that were the same as the, the other palette that I have. And it's, they're not, they look really similar, but they're, they're definitely different. I don't know, I feel like I've had a very unproductive, unmotivated day today. Went through 200 plus emails and printed some recipes out. Had a cup of coffee or two. I mean, I've really like done nothing meaningful with my day today. It's one of those like ho-hum days. I know I want to use this color here on my lid, but I don't know how that's going to work like all over the lid, especially with this, this color that I put in because that color doesn't look blue. It looks more gray. So I'm like debating on whether or not, where'd that brush come from? Whether or not to try that like taupe color just all over the lid and see what happens or what? I'm also trying to figure out what brush I want to use. And the one brush I'm looking for, I don't see it. And I know I just washed it. I'm missing a Luxie brush. And yeah, not cool, man, not cool. Oh, there you are. It was leaning. It was a leaning brush, and I wonder why I couldn't see it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that color. We'll see what it looks like. And I'm gonna try this dry. And if all else fails, I can just, you know, get the brush wet and try it again. Okay, hello fallout. And I didn't set my under eyes on purpose. Now it just kind of looks like I've put gray all over my eyelid, which technically that's what I've done. It's just a, a light shimmer looking shadow. It's not very like bold. Well, I think I'm going to try wetting the brush and seeing if that makes a difference in it because it just looks kind of monochromatic right now. Silver. That's neat. Wet, dry. That's kind of a big difference. I don't know how well that's coming across on camera, but. I was debating on whether or not to go blow off the driveway and get all the acorns off and go roller skating today. I haven't done that in a few days. But my like gumption today is like zero. I kind of like that. That's pretty. funny looking hair sticking out of there. 
I don't think it was a brush hair. I think it was just fuzz. Well, if you live with cats, you know what it's like. Any animal hair always ends up in the air. I was having a discussion with my my dad about makeup and stuff like that the other was it yesterday Friday he's like I don't know why you talk about this stuff with me it's not like I really give a crap about it <laughs> I was like uh, you're here you're human you talk back you figure I'm home with cats all day and I think since I've been using this, these two colors in the crease, I'm gonna grab this this shade here, which is like a satin, and just kind of run over my brow bone area with it. And there's Dad now coming back in. I don't know. It's just been one of those like days. It's a Sunday. A lazy Sunday. Figured I'd peek out and see if I could see him. He's just came in the house. What are you doing, Jack? The dog just went running on the hallway and one of the cats was standing out there. I opened the door and scared him. Dad says I'm going to hell. I don't believe in hell, so that doesn't really doesn't really affect me, but I thought it was funny. Just for harassing the cat. And then he'll turn around and harass one of them. I'll be like, oh, who's going to hell now? So at least I'll have company. So this morning when Stad got up, I was talking to him about the fires in California. And there's a lot of people without like homes and stuff right now because the fires have like burned everything up. And I, I have friends that live in California, so that kind of concerns me, especially when fires are, you know, nearby where he lives. And... It always makes me wonder, you know, this time of the year, every year, California has major, major fires. But they wait to the last minute to, like, have people evacuate, and I couldn't understand why. And I know how, like, winds change and that kind of stuff and the directions of the fires go from one direction to another direction right, you know, right quick and in a hurry. And I was like, okay, well, if they knew about the fires Wednesday, why did they wait until Friday to evacuate people? That doesn't make sense to me. It makes me wonder, you know, who was, who was on the ball for that? And he's like, well, it was going one direction on one day, and then it switched directions and started going another direction. I'm like, well, that I can understand. But you figure if you know the fires are going to happen every year, why not be prepared with whatever essentials that you need to get out in a hurry. It's kind of like being pregnant and having your, your hospital bag ready. It's, it's, that's the way I think about it. I live in Florida. I've lived in Florida my entire life and we have these things called hurricanes and randomly throughout the year we get tornadoes and hail and, and other things like that. So I know during 12 months of the year, there's a random chance that a hurricane could pop up and cause disasters. So we always keep, you know, year round, we keep stuff like fuel for the, um, the generator and we keep non-perishable foods and, you know, we try and keep a couple gallons of water and we've got lantern, uh, oil, we've got batteries and candles and matches and 
Uh, I've got a propane, uh, a Coleman propane uh, thing that is actually a ceramic heater, but you can also use it to cook on. So we keep that kind of stuff year round. So just in case something happens, we're prepared. It just, it's one of those things that makes me wonder if the same stuff happens every year in California, why not be prepared year round for it? Why not be ready to grab your bag and go or not even be, you know, just have it already prepared somewhere and just grab whatever, have a change of clothes, have your essential things, have a little bit of money, which I know is definitely hard to do that. Um, but my dad always taught me to keep um, at least $2 and quarters in your car for a flat tire and always keep a five dollar bill hidden somewhere in your car just in case you run out of gas so if you do the math you've got at least seven dollars in your car at all time whether it's for emergencies like you're low on air in a, in a tire or you run out of fuel and you need to you need to stop really quick and you know get gas somewhere you've always got some emergency money and my mom used to always have like $100 put away somewhere when we were kids as emergency money. So just in case something came up and she couldn't get to the bank or whatever and she needed cash, she always had $100 stashed somewhere so that she was ready to go at all times. I guess it's just one of those things in me that makes me always want to stay prepared. I'm going to try this. I haven't used this in forever. This is the Mineral Blush from Bella Pierre. And I haven't... Heck, I haven't even been talking about what I've been using. Okay, so on my eyes, I use the Bold Obsessions palette from Milani. The eyebrow pencil that I use is from JCat. This is their brow duo, which mine came without a lid on the spoolie part, which it's fine. Came in an Ipsy bag. And it's like an oval, it's a weird oval shape, but I have, I have good brows anyway, so I don't really worry about it. And then I have this little thing that came again from Ipsy. This is a, uh, the Gimme Brow in shade five. And I've been using this for, I think I got it over a year ago before they, hit, before they had the recall is when I got that. And I'm still using it, so I'll use it until it runs out. This is just a Nivea lip balm. Um, what I usually do is I'll throw the Chella eyebrow gel over it, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to go sit back at my computer. So I also have, this is new. Um, I think I got this from a Ipsy play bag or a Sephora play bag, but I didn't like unbag it. This is the Anastasia gel, the brow gel. This stuff smells 10 times stronger than this stuff, and it's like super glue. When you put it in your eyebrows, your eyebrows are not going anywhere. I prefer this one. It's not crunchy, it's not hard, but the Anastasia one is nice. Okay, so this Bella Pierre powder is like... It's almost like a bronzer. It doesn't look like a blush. I don't know. It looks dark. I'm going to be brave. I'm not going to pick any more up. I'm going to go with what's in the lid. I have a piece of fuzz on my lip. <laughs> I'm like kind of scared to use it. And I'm trying something new with my concealers and stuff. I did not set my under eyes. And other than the natural lines that I have under there, I'm not like creasing or anything. There's no product hanging out under there. So that's something I'm paying attention to. It doesn't even look like I'm putting anything on. Maybe I actually need to be brave and stick my brush in it. Oh, I see the sheen. It's kind of like a... 
a bronzy peach color. I don't know. So I was going to do a Harley Quinn. Well, was, I've already done the Harley Quinn makeup look, but I never recorded it. So what I had planned on doing for Halloween was recording that, but time just got away from me. And with my allergies and being sick and that kind of stuff, I just, I never ended up doing it. So I don't know if I should like do it now like record it now or just, you know, wait until next year. I don't know. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, say, bronzer. It's also kind of shimmery and it's almost the same shade as that Bella Pierre. But lately it's all, it's been For me, it's been kind of like boring. Same old, same old, same video games, same characters, same Facebook posts that I have to approve or disapprove on the job website that I help run with a friend of mine. Basically the same junk emails every day that you don't even read, you just kind of delete them because, you know, there's no point. You know it's going in the trash anyways, why even bother opening it? That's just been, it's just been one of those like weeks. All right, this is the Wet n Wild and Highlighter and Precious Petals. And I think the ho-hum of the week has kind of gotten to me. It rained a lot this week, so I didn't I didn't get out to go roller skating as much like I normally would. I'd usually go out like every day for an hour and then, you know, come in and work on stuff. And, you know, exercising gives you endorphins and stuff. And I was actually enjoying the fact that I left the house at least once a day for more than a couple minutes. And it was, it was nice being able to go outside and, and do something. And then it went from, you know, 50 something degrees one day to like 83 the next. I swear Florida is crazy. It's weather, it doesn't know what it wants to do. It seriously is bipolar. But it's Florida, what do you expect? I was thinking about doing a blue eyeliner. I haven't done eyeliner yet or mascara. I'm gonna dig out my sharpener here. We'll see how well this works. Oh, I did crease a little. That was what I was looking for. Right there. I am shocked. It actually did crease. I was using the Makeup Revolution concealer and I I've, I've, keep hearing all these people talk about, oh, well, my concealer creased. And I've not really dealt with, you know, creasing with it. Now the Tarte Shape Tape does a little bit, but the Makeup Revolution one is like a more fluid formula. So I haven't really dealt with it. I don't even know where I put it. Oh, there it is. Um, I haven't really dealt with it doing that too much. So I, that's why I didn't set it because I wanted to see what would happen. I'll set it in just a second.
And this is a combination of powders. What I did was I took like the Cody Airspun, the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair. I had a Wet n Wild, or was it an Elf? I don't know, it was one of those powders that uh, wasn't a compact and it broke. So I mixed a bunch of those together and then I added hyaluronic acid to like make this. And since I have super dry under eyes, I was like, well, the hyaluronic acid will help maintain the moisture under my eyes so I don't get creasing and whatnot. And so far, I haven't had any problems with this powder drying my under eyes out. If anything, my under eyes actually feel more moisturized. And even though, like if you touch the powder, it feels wet. You can actually see it's like stuck to my finger. But um, it doesn't, that's if you like press your finger. Hello, I just lost the light bulb. That's if you like press your finger down into it. But if you're using it on a brush or a sponge, it doesn't feel super dry. Or I mean, it doesn't feel wet. It feels like an actual loose powder. So I'm liking that. And if you, cause it does ball up a little bit in the, you know, in here. So I just kind of like shake it to get some of the little crunchy pieces out. But I really do like the way that that, that works. And all, all of the ingredients you can get at Walmart. I'll show you. So here's the air spun and then this is the fifth, the fit me and that's zero five fair. Sorry. The concealer is 15 fair. That's what I was thinking of with the number 15. And what I did was I just took two of these and uh, filled it in one container. And again, the powder that was broken. And then this is the hyaluronic acid serum that I use. And this is like six bucks at Walmart for a two ounce thing. And it comes with a dropper. So it was just super easy to put together. And then I just used my, um, little cosmetic spatulas and stirred it up and then added whatever I needed to it and then you know hi okay back to the eyeliner I need to get closer to the mirror for this. I can't one hand this. I don't usually put dark colors in my waterline at all just because it closes my eyes. Okay, now to play with the bottom lash line. I think I'm going to take the brush that I did the outer V with, but I just like wiped it off on my wet washcloth. I'm going to go back with this shade and like smoke out and then I'll tight line this to my lashes with my little definer brush so I've had some people talk to me about the fact that I'm like live streaming blizzard games and until I can get a better or faster video card I don't know how 
effective that's going to be because my latency is just through the roof with it. So when I try and stream the games, it's fine at first, but as soon as I get in with an area where there's like other people there or other characters, my latency seems to rise and rise and rise, which makes the game slower and slower and slower. So I don't know if I will be able to continue to live stream my gaming. Because I know I had some people ask me about it. One person was shocked that I actually do video games. They're like, oh, I didn't know you played video games. I'm like, I've been playing Blizzard games since they first came out. And I mean, first came out. I still have Warcraft on A drive floppy disks. I've played all the Diablo games. I've played all the Warcraft games all the way up to the Frozen Throne. I played all the original non-internet Blizzard games. But I also used to play games like Heroes of Might and Magic, and then they ended up changing it. It was Heroes of Might and Magic, and then Ubisoft bought them out, and then it was Heroes, and um, I've played Age of Empires, all of them. I, I own all of them. I have the box, box kit. Um, I have a game called Elemental, which a lot of people don't know much about, and it's actually... <laughs> not an easy game to play it kind of like kind of messes with you a little bit because you've got to do things like a specific way and if you don't you like die it's very strategy based I also have like on my computer right now I have Masters of Orion 3 on there I played all the original Masters of Orion games. Used to play um, a game called Wizardry, and um, they they had multiple versions of it. But I I used to love that game, and then they stopped putting out content for it. Like I think they stopped at like Wizardry Eight, and I that was like the last one that I played from them. But I really enjoyed that game. But I was talking to Dad last night about a game called King's Quest, and he doesn't remember it. But it was a good game back in the day. But you also have to figure, um, I'm older than most of the gamers that are gaming now, so my game taste is a little bit different. I even, even did like a throwback. I downloaded Caesar, was it Caesar 4 off of Steam? because I played all the original Caesar games and I played the Empire games and the, um, or is it Emperor, Empire, Emperor? Oh, heck, it's been so many years, I can't remember now. But I played all of those and I really liked those kinds of things where, oh, and uh, SimCity and SimCity 2000 and Sim Farm and Sim Ant and Sim Hunt, I played all those. A lot of them are like, critical thinking type games, especially when you're like in SimCity or City 2000, you really have to figure out where you're going to build certain things and what's going to be the most profitable and that kind of things as to where you build it. They don't, they don't make games like that anymore where you actually really have to think about where you place things on the map in order to get the most bang for your butt for your city or for the game period in order to go through things. I think that's probably why I downloaded Caesar 4 because I saw a clip of somebody playing it and it, it's a 3D version I'd never played it. I was like, hmm. So I did download that the other day and spent most of yesterday playing it. I played it a little bit this morning before I, I tried switching out my video card. It's definitely something that you got to pay attention to and can be time consuming. Like the guy that I caught the clip of, I think he did a live stream of one of the campaigns and it, the live stream is like over an hour long, but it took him an hour at least to get through the one scenario. And it was kind of neat. He did it like a forum where in his, I guess he was live streaming when he was doing it, 
where he was like asking people, well, where would you put this and where, where should I put that? And how many of these do you think is enough? So it was like kind of like an interactive thing. And I don't know if like other people were playing the same scenario as, as him at the same time. If he was, that's kind of cool. I guess that's one way to get everybody involved. But I, I, you know, I can live stream other stuff besides video game play. I can live stream how I make my jewelry or um, tutorials on how to repair jewelry, that kind of stuff. I could do more live stream makeup looks. If you guys have questions, I don't use Snapchat. I kept getting inappropriate pictures on there, so I deleted it. I had, I, yeah, well, sorry. I had a child that was 14 or 15 years old send me a picture of a body part that number one, I didn't ask for, and two, I was not too happy to get. I have Twitter and I have Instagram. Yeah, right? My, I have children older than that. Modern games like what? I mean, are Blizzard games not modern? <laughs> I just downloaded Destiny 2. I haven't played it yet. I haven't even started it. It's, it is available for me to play on the launcher, but I haven't loaded it yet. And I've been streaming Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm, but I haven't streamed like Hearthstone, Diablo 2, or um... is that a PC game or is that a console game? Because I don't have a console, I have a PC. Actually, I've never owned a console. I've always been a PC. I have a Nintendo DS Lite that I got 2008, 2009. But other than that, all the other games and stuff that I have or that I've ever played have always been with the exception of one. Um, I played Zelda, the gold, gold box Zelda on a Nintendo 64 when I was a kid, but it wasn't mine. It belonged to uh, somebody that I knew. And that's the only time I ever played it was one time when I went to their house. But other than that, I've been a PC gamer. And then before that, I had a Commodore 64 and an Amiga 2000. I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, it could be the way parents are raising them. Um, I know when I was 14, I was climbing trees and riding bicycles and motorcycles. And actually at 14, I was also working. So it, it's really in society and kids walk around like, like this with their phone or their device all day. They don't interact with people anymore. They don't go outside. So I know when I was 14, I was working as a cashier at Winn-Dixie. So I, um, I did that and I was in, you know, I was also in school, but when I wasn't in school, you know, I was either hanging out on the roof of my house with friends or playing in the backyard or climbing camphor trees, which, you know, you're not supposed to climb because they're weak. Yes, that is also accurate too, because, um, I was limited on like phone, phone time when I was a kid. Like my mom would, you know, say that I could have like 30 minutes in the afternoon. And that's only if my homework was done and then I had to get off or I could be on the phone as long as I was discussing homework, but it was basically, you know, 
homework had to be done first and then you could get on the phone. But also I'm talking about a phone with a cord or a portable phone, not like a cell phone. I didn't get a cell phone until I was like 18. Have you guys played Terra online? Because I was looking into that. I looked into Bless, um, and I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on Bless, and they're like, it's like the worst game ever, and it's they're considering it a sandbox game versus a um, a game like you know, Wow. I even looked at some of the new releases that were coming out on Steam, I think it was yesterday. Just looking to see what all's coming out, but a lot of it, especially the stuff that's in like beta, the graphics on this stuff is so bad, it's all pixelated. And if I wanna play a pixelated game, I'll dig the Amiga 2000 out of the closet and plug in a floppy disk. I don't know, I guess I'm used to rich graphics. Well, we, we didn't get internet until I was like 13, I think. universe sandbox i don't know what that is now i i play arc age that's also a sandbox but that game is dying so bad and there's no point in streaming it i mean you go out to aurora and you kill mobs for gear you run trade packs you make larders you farm unless you're running other games yeah well i actually have humans mike <laughs> humans humans Michael, how is your weekend going? Yeah, right? I spent all day with cats and a chihuahua. My get up and go got up and left. <laughs> like seriously. Oh, I didn't even say what those lip colors were. Okay, this one is from Trace Steak. This is the matte, this is the Belize Bordeaux. That's what I put on. And then I put the Glossy Fawn from the L'Oreal Color Riche over it just to give it some moisture. Because my lips are dry. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> Don't even get me started with our internet service provider. <laughs> Actually, that's something that you had asked me about that I didn't get a chance to um, do a video on yet. I was kind of scared to. I have a girl that works for them that's kind of like stalking me on Twitter and sending me messages with the wrong name. Like, I don't know she's trying to get my attention. But, um... So our, our internet has been up and down and up and down and up and down and it's been absolutely insane. Oh yeah, right? Um, so back in August, we lost internet um, for, we would like have internet and then it would go in and out and in and out and our speeds were like up and down. So 
dad and I had a plan to, to run a bunch of like dungeons and raids and stuff in World of Warcraft Labor Day weekend. That was the plan. We were both, uh, I think, one, 109 or 110, and we had a bunch of stuff that we had to do for our crafting quests for our characters, and we had to do them because we had specific quests that we needed to get done. So that was our plan. Labor Day weekend, he had three days, you know, that he could sit and play that we were gonna do all, the, all finish all the Legion stuff before we started uh, Battle for Azeroth. We were rip and ready to go to get into that content and to play it and to enjoy it and to um, have fun while we were doing it. And then our internet went out. And we didn't have internet that night, Friday night. We didn't have internet Saturday. We didn't have internet Sunday. And the technician didn't come until September 5th. Checked our modem, said that our modem was fine. Our modem was pulling in like 75 um, gigs or 75 megs of speed, which is a lot faster than what we were getting because we were at like 0.01 to like 0.3 for our download speeds and our upload speeds were like fine. Like the upload speeds was 0.8 like it was supposed to be. The, we would go to load one of the, like the Ookla speed test website or the CenturyLink uh, speed test website and the page would crash. No internet activity. I'm like, dad and I were both ripping our hair out. So then we, um, I tried running it on my phone because I have the Ookla app on my phone and it wouldn't run on my phone. So finally one of us was able to get it to run and we were, we were like, and I was like screenshotting it. I tweeted at Centur at CenturyLink and was, you know, basically complaining about the fact that we didn't have any internet. And they were, it took like an hour for the tweet to upload. So that was frustrating. And then when I, when they finally got back to me, they're like, well, have you talked to customer service? And we had already called and they gave us, they were supposed to give us like a credit on our account for that, um, that coming month. And I don't, to be honest, I don't even think the credit ever went, went on the account. I'd have, dad would, you know, have to look, but as far as I know, I don't think we ever got a credit for being without internet service for that entire weekend. And they like, they had some, somebody that the, the technician called a guru. What he was going to do is he was going to go back and look at all of our internet connectivity with our system for the past several months. Cause he could only go back like seven days and check. And so he was going to have his guru go back and check and see what was going on with our internet speeds because he could see in our system where we were having problems, but he couldn't, he couldn't figure out why we were having those problems. And I'm like, okay, that's a little disconcerting. So, um, that was like the start of some of the major problems. And then we had, we switched our service over. It was supposed to switch over September 12th and it didn't switch right. So there was that. And off and on we've had problems with basic, basically with it not wanting to connect. And even with the new changes to our internet. Oh, I haven't, I haven't tried that. I'll have to look that up. Can you ask me for something? Uh, well, last time I checked, people can ask for just about anything. But yeah, you may ask me something. Must be a long answer to a question. So, anyways, uh, Michael, I don't know if you're if you're.
still here. It doesn't like it doesn't show me. I don't know how to get it to anyways. Oh, okay, there you are. I didn't know if you were still in here or not because I had somebody that was watching drop out. Um, so our internet has been, yeah, I have really long hair. Like really, hey, hang on, you can't even see it. Like really long hair. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, the internet is kind of stable right now, but it does fluctuate in and out and I'm having problems with my computer with latency. Basically it says my internet's fine, but yet my video card isn't, it doesn't have enough oomph to go like do some of the things that I want it to do. And so trying to live stream while playing video games is kind of difficult. So um, it doesn't, the live streaming doesn't affect our internet, it affects my computer. And until I can get a more powerful video card for my machine, I don't know how much more um, gaming, live streaming I'll be able to do. I've only tried it with two games so far though. I have like Diablo 3, I've got um, Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, Arc Age, Caesar 4. I could like try and stream some of those, but again, some of those games, I don't know who would be interested in watching, especially, you know, like Caesar 4 or like Arcage or even like Masters of Orion. It's really kind of a, a tedious game and it's like time consuming and you have to know enough about the game in order to like want to watch it, somebody play it. And I play Masters of Orion 3 when I'm like super bored because it's one of those games where it distracts your brain from how bored you are and you're doing something, but you don't really have to like think while you're playing the game. That's why I was looking at some of the other games and stuff online because like I really need to do some more research on Terra. Somebody sent me a message on Discord about another game that they play that's it's like an anime style game. Um, I haven't looked into that one either. It's dragon something or another. She plays that. She says it's a really cute game. So I'll have to go back into my messages and see what that is. Yeah, Masters of Orion. I've played all of them. Masters of Orion 1, 2, and 3. And I own, well, I own all of them. I don't know if they ever made another one, I think. Oh, God. Was Masters of Orion 2, was that the one that you had to have the actual instruction book for because every time you'd log in it would ask you to like flip to page 52 and look at paragraph blah 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 and give me the first letter of the or first word of the paragraph it was either masters of orion 1 or masters of orion 2 that did that because people were like downloading with the game and if you didn't have the book then you couldn't get into the game so every time that you it would you would like try and load the game, it it would ask you specifically for a page and and whatever word was on that page that they that they were looking for. It was asinine, but then people started like catching on, and then you could go and read. Okay, so you think it was Master of Ryan one? All I know is that it was on one of them, and. Um, people actually started putting like cheat sheets online and you'd have like your friends AOL message you and be like, hey, the question for today was this and this is the page and this is the, the word that you need to, to get into the game. So, um, yeah, old school gamer, old school PC gamer. <coughs> Hi. That person never did ask their question, did they? Can you see what? Yeah. Um, 
there was a game that I used to play called Geo Storm, and I still have it on um, a three by five. And I used to love playing it. Basically, you're a little race car, and you go through like the desert and stuff like that. And um, we had controllers that we used with our computer. Yeah, I know, right? I, I said, did, did they never ask their question? They asked, can they see it? Can, can you see what? Can you not see me? I know. I'm interested now. You have my attention. Think, I'm gonna go outside. Think, being the operative word. I know, thinking can be dangerous. It's gonna get dark. Dark, I told you, dark. My rotten child come back in the house yet, Dad? Nope. Hey, where, is he in the front yard or backyard? Last time I saw him, he was under the carport out back. Okay, I'll go harass him. Walk through the house, it's dark in here. Yo, hi kids. The cat pile on the floor. <laughs> the sea in the world. You know, I could get on the roof. Love me. Let me cover the mic, I don't wanna do this because it's loud. Hopefully you guys still have... Hi! Abby! And... Let me flip the camera on. Look at what he's done. Getting ready to take it out. And there's two back to back. I'm gonna climb up this dirt pile. So, this is the one he's dug up. And what happened is... This tree here, the root system for it grew straight underneath this tree so if you look right there that is part of this tree and it's causing this tree to kick over i gotta get up there dad wants me to climb the tree and strap things around it so we can hook it up to that tree over there chop it down and winch it winch it that direction so both of these trees have to come out eventually, but it's pretty out today. It's probably about 78, maybe 80 degrees out here right now. It's pretty, looks a little overcast. They still didn't ask that question, did they? See what the roof looks like. Oh, it's covered in acorns. Ah, screw it. And yes, I'm walking on the roof. Here's our solar panel. Here's another solar panel. Here's the front yard. Well, at least part of it. Oh, that's something I could show you. Look. Okay. For those that live in other places, these little suckers are not supposed to be blooming. These are Japanese sunflowers. And in Japan this time of year, it's freezing. So they should not be blooming, but these suckers bloom 
every fall and winter and we've got several different spots of them if I don't know if I want to do that with my phone but if I hop from this roof off to the the big shed roof on the other side of the shed there's a whole bunch more of these over there but they're so pretty and they actually they kind of smell like honeysuckle when you get one pull it lean it over so you can sniff it but they're really beautiful little yellow flowers anyways so this is this is technically my video for the day I have a bunch of them that my phone's all smeary now um, I had the swatch video that I did for that um, eyeshadow palette that I recorded earlier that I uploaded to my computer I haven't edited it yet um, my eyes watering typical allergies I have a skin care video to go up I use the new well, it's not new I've been using it for a while the origins rose clay mask I really like it so I have that that I have to edit I did that video I think recorded it Thursday but like I said my get up and go kind of got up and left oh yeah you guys can see the backyard part of it and all the nice vine going there and that that is part of the pine tree that's got to come down now you can see how far away I am from those those trees I was at just a little bit ago we've got over two acres here or close to two right up right close to two acres and then this guy's so pretty I don't know just one of those things just kind of like a ho-hum day for me not even a whole lot of traffic outside so is anybody doing anything special this month? I mean, I know Thanksgiving comes up and that kind of stuff. Usually I'll either make a roast or do like chicken or turkey. I've been doing a lot of crock pot meals lately and I printed out a bunch of different recipes for like Thanksgiving inspired things, whether it's baking a pie or um, like I've never made an actual apple pie. I love eating apple pie, but I've never made one. And I found a recipe for like pumpkin cheesecake, which I haven't, I've made cheesecake plenty of times because I love cheesecake. It's actually my favorite dessert ever, but I've never made a pumpkin one. I've made strawberry ones, I've made raspberry and blueberry, you know, drizzle ones, that kind of stuff, but I've never made a pumpkin one. So I kind of did that this morning. I haven't really done much. Like, literally, I haven't done much today. I've just kind of been staring at my computer. But for about two and a half hours, my computer wasn't even, like, on or, or on where it was, like, usable because I was... I took out the, the video card that came in it and put in my old video card thinking, okay, it's faster, it's got better speeds, it's got redder, better... Uh, Oh, my brain just died. Like where your where the refresh rate on it, it actually is is a fast. It really is a faster card. It's a better card. It's a two gig dedicated video card. But the only thing is, is they stopped updating the software for it like three years ago. I want to say it was like May of 2015 when they stopped updating the the drivers for it. So I I installed that, got it in the machine, and my monitor is like 1980 by like it's 1980 is the resolution of it the the display so that's what it should be but the highest it would allow me to select for my display setting was like 1220 by 1080 and it was like somebody took a picture and like scrunched in the sides but they didn't like modify the top so the picture was all like distorted and weird on the computer Ooh airplane we actually have an airport on uh, about right over there so 
a little that's a little water plain. Sorry, I had a new shiny moment. I have those. Just the little things in life, you know? But yeah, I fought and I found some drivers for it, downloaded the drivers, downloaded modified drivers for it, that kind of stuff. Oh, I just got sprinkled on. I'm on the roof, so I'd get wet first. But lo and behold, it didn't work. I even uninstalled the card off the, the computer, deleted the drivers for it, and tried to um, change my, you know, restarted the computer, tried to change the display settings again, and it was still stuck at 1280 by 1020. No, 1220 by 1080. <laughs> so I was like, can't do this. I can't, it was bugging my eyes out. And then I went to pull the, the video card back out and it was so freaking hot. I burned my thumb. Actually, I got a little purple spot on my thumb where, where, where I pulled it out. I went to, to grab it to uh, pull it out and one of the little metal pieces on the back of the green board actually burned my finger. I was like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> So, I think it's time to throw the video card in the trash. It's a Radeon HD, or it's an AMD Radeon HD 6700. And they stopped supporting the, the six series you can't even like download drivers for anymore. You can only go down to like series seven. So like anything with a seven, an eight, or a nine is considered a legacy driver now. So you can't even install that. So I guess I'm going to be stuck with the video card that I have right now that's in my machine until I can afford to get a better one and modified firewall settings. Anyways. So I'm looking for... Like I've got a bunch of ideas, but I want to know what you guys want to see, what kind of content you want, what videos you're looking for. I mean, I did a video sitting up here on my chimney um, just watching the rain one day just because it was neat. And I, I do that kind of stuff. Like I'm up here right now. I do that. Um, we actually have a ladder on that side of the house and on that side of the house. So I can hop on the roof whenever I want. And even when I was a kid, I used to get on the roof. It's just one of those things. Now, back when I was eight through 15, I used to lay out on this on the roof, but I don't mind coming outside if it's like this time of day where the sun isn't directly overhead. It's more that way. That way I'm not in direct sun exposure. Now granted, I'm still in the sun. I'm still seeing the sun, but I don't have to worry about burning after five minutes. I thought about doing a video on the Japanese sunflowers that I've got. We've got some really neat plants in the yard that a lot of people can't get or they're rare or endangered. Like we've got a fern in the front yard that's endangered. And the male lady actually complained about the fern being too close to our sidewalk. She was like, it touched my leg. I think I'm allergic. It got me wet. You need to move it. I'm <laughs> like, lady, you can just walk around the fern leaf or step over it. So we moved, we moved them and about half of them died. So we collected seeds from the pods for a year, like that year's harvest and then the next year. So they're actually, they got seed pods on them right now, but they're so pretty. And the, one of my cats, he, when he comes outside, he actually gets underneath the ferns. I don't think you can see him from here. Right over the roof line. That. We've got them all along the sidewalk. But those are the ferns. It's, it's, they kind of look like little palm trees. But they're not, they're not palm trees. It's... Dad calls them, um, I don't know, I thought they were called a Mexican something, but I'm thinking of the little purple flower that we have grown on the other side of the house. They, they call them Mexican petunias. It's a little purple 
pretty little purple flower. Now I'm just kind of rambling. Such is life. God, it almost looks like I have a filter on. It's so pretty out here. I don't have a filter. I don't use that stuff. I don't even know how to use that Facetune stuff that they have for Instagram. Why? Why use it? Why worry about it? You know, people see me without makeup on. They see me with my hair down. They see me with my hair up. Why worry about modifying what you look like in real life to meet somebody else's expectations of whatever their beauty standards are? I have a big nose, okay? I have German heritage and I have a big nose. See, big nose. I have been called so many names. And it's funny, YouTube actually blocks comments like that. Like I'll get a message from YouTube to let me know that somebody commented on a video and I'll go and look at that video and there's no comments on it. And then I go and look at my comments and it says, um, it's been flagged for spam. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And I read the comment, I'm like, oh, okay. So usually if somebody's like really rude or crude about my nose, I mean, granted, it's, it's my nose. It's, it's been with me my whole life. If I could have surgery to get it, get it smaller, I would probably, yeah, I'd probably get it smaller. But I'm 38 years old. I've had this thing on my face for for almost, thir you know, a little over 38 years, because you figure I was in utero with it. But why would I, wh why do people have to pick on like something as small as something you can't do anything about? Like, my eyes are blue, okay? I could change those with contacts and make them green or brown or purple or whatever color that um, people want to find, I guess, appealing. Because, you know, some people really do dislike blue eyes. Okay, well, I have blue eyes. My brother has blue eyes. Both my parents have blue eyes. And to be honest, I like my blue eyes. And my eyes right now are almost the same color as the sky behind me. Which I think is kind of neat. But then again, I also like green eyes. I, I've seen people with eyes that, that make you wonder if... Um, somebody went in there with like a paintbrush and put them in all those little gold flecks and a little blue ring around it. I don't know. I think the things that... The big hawk just flew by. It flew right over my head. Um, I think the things that make everybody different and unique, the features that we might not like about ourselves or things that people pick on. Like, I've been picked on for my nose my entire life. Elementary school, middle school, high school, college... Now that I'm an adult, I still get nasty messages about my big nose. You know what? It might run, might have allergies, might be big, but you know what? I can smell stuff from a mile away. And I think that's great. And I think the fact that um, I have such a very sensitive nose is a good thing. But that's just me. I think we all need to like take into consideration the small things in life sometimes and appreciate them. Like I don't have any foundation on right now. This is my skin. I have concealer on under my eyes, a little on my forehead, my nose, and my chin right here where I've got some breakouts. And that's basically it. I don't have any powder on the rest of my face besides, you know, blush and stuff like that. I don't know. Again, I'm rambling. Somebody talk to me. I'm all alone. I'm on the roof. I swear I won't jump. I did that mistake once. Do not jump off a roof. They might look like they're only 12 feet high. They are a lot higher than 12 feet. Trust me. That and I had my brother almost pull me off a ladder when I was a kid once. Not fun either. Blasted acorns, ruining my life. Flip this around so you can see Daddy's work truck.
Oh yeah, there's a better look at the sunflowers. I guess I can walk over there and show you. I'm gonna get, get one. Ooh. There you go. Up close and personal look. I don't wanna like break it. Beauty. Yeah, happy little sunflowers. They smell so good. I just got lipstick on it. Sorry, flower. But they smell like a honeysuckle. And watch spring. Right back up it goes. A whole cluster of them down there. Power. Don't touch power. I need to get back on that roof and clean it again. It's got pine needles on the other end of it. See? A lot farther than 12 feet. Oh, there's a crab spider. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. See him? Little crab spider right there. Little black... See the little, little black speck? That's a crab spider right there. Oh, they're so cool. Okay. Operation is locked. I don't know what that means. I must have touched something. I'm gonna be careful not to grab my hair because when I'm going down the ladder my my hair like leans forward oh there's a twig on the twig on the ladder yeah my hair leans over this ladder and I end up grabbing that that would suck I don't know where my cat got off to he wasn't in the backyard. He wasn't in the... No, I don't see him in the front yard. Looks like somebody shaved a dog. The heck? There's more seeds Dad brought home. These are the Mexican petunias. This is the base. I don't know when it dropped or if it dropped. I don't know if it's back up or not. All of a sudden, I just got a bunch of messages. Okay, I didn't see any of these messages. I guess while I was on the roof. Okay, I didn't see any of these messages. I guess while I was on the roof. All these messages came Man, and I didn't see him until I came down off the ladder. So they so they asked if I've ever eaten McDonald's. Yes, I have. I like the chips, even though I know exactly how they're made. I'll still eat them. Actually, actually, I have that. My ear just went weird. Um, I still have the giveaway that I need to do. I'll probably do that in December for the soapbox soaps PR box that they sent me. The, the second one that they sent me, I still have that to give away. I've got some sample packets of hair stuff that I need to try. I don't know if you can see me or not. 
Anyways, this I'm Rebecca Burstadt. I must have lost my feet at some point. Um, I'm gonna go on back in the house. I was just killing some time outside. I've been streaming now for a while. There will be no video upload today. This is this is it. Have you, if you want me to live stream more, then definitely comment. If you well, I'll I'll tweet this out. Um, I'll do a, a Twitter thing and I'll I'll post it on uh, Instagram as well. If you have questions that you want me to answer or anything like that in a video, please feel free to let me know. Ask me anything. I'm a pretty open book. So I will hopefully have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.